everybody. Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers, and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. John and I are here on the Celebrity Beyond, and we are in a Sky Suite this week. And one of the perks of being in Sky Suite is the suite guests have their own dining room, and it's called Lumine. And we are here for breakfast, and we're going to share the experience with you. I'll start by showing you the menu, and then we'll show you each course as it arrives. And at the end, we will give you our feedback. This is the Lumine menu for breakfast, and the breakfast menu is the same every day. If you have been in a suite before on a celebrity ship, you're familiar with Lumine, but this menu is different. They decided to make some changes, and I can say that, in our opinion, they are all for the better. We'll start on the left-hand side of the menu. This is the continental options. And if I'm going too fast for you, feel free to pause your device so that you can look at it longer. John and I are going to order a nice array of items today so that you can see a good sampling. Next, we have the egg dishes. And on the right side of the menu, the items from the griddle. And the sides. Breakfast is served every day in Lumine, as well as dinner. And these are your beverage choices, as well as coffees and teas. And they only serve lunch on embarkation day and sea days. How is everything so far? Quick look around. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. This is our lovely server. Uh, Octarina from Octarina. Indonesia. Thank you. You're doing a wonderful job. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our first items have arrived. I ordered the muesli. For those of you who have watched our videos, you know that I'm a fan of muesli. The best way for me to describe it is like it's a cold oatmeal, but this is muesli on steroids. This is amazing. Look at all those fresh berries and that's fresh whipped cream on top. It looks amazing. And John ordered a couple items to show you. This is baked oatmeal. If you can look at the description in the menu. I had it yesterday and it is absolutely delicious. Unlike any dish I've ever had. And this is the yogurt parfait, the cherry yogurt parfait. And we also each selected a Danish. They come around with a fresh tray of Danishes for you to choose from. That's a raisin cinnamon Danish. And I chose the frosted croissant. Okay, we're gonna eat and we'll be back with the next course. Our next course has arrived and we ordered three entrees to just show you a little bit of a variety. This is the potato waffle. You'll have to look at the description in the menu. Now basically it is waffles made out of a savory potato, cheddar cheese, and an egg, and there's caramelized bacon and syrup on the plate there, you see. This is the eggs in purgatory. I'll try to show you the uh, pepper and onion underneath it. Let's see. There we go. Looks interesting. And John ordered the, what is this? Uh, peach cobbler French toast. The peach cobbler French toast. Well, that looks like dessert, doesn't it? That looks amazing. Yeah, it tastes like dessert. And we also have fresh squeezed orange juice and of course hot fresh coffee, which is delicious. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and taste these and we will be back with our final comments. We're finished with breakfast and I would like to give you my final thoughts and then we'll see what John has to say. 
first I had the muesli. It was very different than any other muesli I've had. The berries with it was delicious. It was the best muesli I've ever had, but it was different. Muesli usually has uh, julienne apples and halved grapes and walnuts. And this didn't have any of that. Instead, it was berries. And it was very refreshing, very light, really delicious. Had a tiny bit of sweetness to it. Nothing that you needed to add to it, but it was very good. The next thing that I tried was the eggs in purgatory. It was good. The egg was fried. It was a quail's egg, which tastes exactly like a regular chicken egg. But the egg was fried and it was a little too crispy for me, if you know what I mean. And, but the tomato and pepper, stewed tomato and pepper underneath it was phenomenal. And the toasted sourdough bread was phenomenal. I would have liked the egg to be cooked maybe over medium and it had the yolk a little runny, and I think that would have made it taste a lot better. And the last thing I tried was the potato waffle. It's delicious. It's like a waffle made out of potatoes and waffle. I can't really describe it better than that. It's very savory, has melted cheese on it, an egg on top. It's, it's not spicy, it's not salty. It's just, it's a nice little savory flavor. The syrup on the edge of the plate, there's just a little bit of it, so you can add a tiny bit of sweetness to it. It was very good. I highly recommend it. I also tasted John's baked oatmeal, and that was phenomenal. Overall, I would stay clear of the egg in purgatory for me personally, but the other items were outstanding. The service, as always, is wonderful in here and all the food arrived in a timely manner and hot, which is important. And let's see what John has to say. Luminae on the Beyond is unbelievable. They really stepped it up. As Joyce said before, the menu has changed. There's some really good items on there. I started, well, first of all, the orange juice is unbelievable. Fresh, fresh squeeze. It, it's like drinking an orange. Then I had the uh, oatmeal, uh, baked oatmeal. It's like a healthy bread pudding. It was delicious. It, I highly recommend it. I had the yogurt, the cherry yogurt with um, granola. The granola was excellent. The yogurt was excellent. The cherry, it was a perfect combination. The French toast, it's the best French toast I've ever had. It's the peach cobbler French toast. It's like a dessert. So I don't eat the whole thing, but it, it's highly recommended. It is fantastic. All in all, I can't wait to try the dinner <laughs> because the lunch was great. We had the lunch and the breakfast is unbelievable. The service is excellent. The decor is a step above the other edge class ships. All in all, a great experience. So there you have it. Uh, that does it for us for breakfast at Lumine on Celebrity Beyond. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. We appreciate you watching. We appreciate your support. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets us know what you like. And it really helps out the channel. So we appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join us along on all of our adventures. You just tap subscribe below this video and turn on the notification bell and that will let you know of any new videos that we post.